Hey folks, Michael Mann, Michael Mann Security Services. We just finished up uh, the Protector Series, so you should have 14 of those videos. It's on our YouTube page, or you can see it on our Facebook. It's Safe with Man. Uh, just uh, something to get everybody out of the house. We just finished the vehicle defense class this afternoon. You should see some of those videos, uh, some excerpts from those classes, very specifically on weapons handling uh, and on some other things. And so while we're packing everything up and getting ready to go, what I wanted to show you was uh, the preparedness part of vehicle defense. And that is stuff that you should have in an emergency, uh, emergency kit in your car. So uh, this is the emergency kit that I have in my car. This is not about gun fighting. This is all about really keeping the gun or keeping the car running. Uh, and then if something really bad happens after the gunfight, things you should have to get to. And so first thing I've got in my kit, and you can't see them on my mirror, but good thing to have these little, uh, these little small blind spot mirrors that you put on your, uh, on your outside mirrors on your car on the left and right side. And what this helps uh, you to do is get uh, a really good 180 degree coverage on your car. So we start talking about prevention and preparedness and not get into a fight. This kind of stuff helps. You can get these at Walmart for like four bucks, all right? What else is in my emergency kit? Uh, number one, if I break down, of course, uh, I wanna get back on the road as quick as possible so I'm not vulnerable. 80% of all attacks or kidnappings, assassinations, or kidnappings, assassination attempts on high-risk folks happen in around the car. And so that doesn't mean it's gonna happen to us in around the car, but it could. So if the car breaks down, something happens to it, I wanna get it running as quick as possible. So one thing I've got in here is I've got my little green vest. So as I'm working on the tar or car, getting the tire fixed, whatever, I wanna get that uh, on so I don't get run over and I wanna get, uh, get the maintenance done as quick as possible. So I always have some kind of safety vest. I've got chem lights, these are multiple uses. Uh, I, at nighttime, I can put these in the back of the car, or around the car so somebody can see if I'm in a dark spot. Or even if I'm on the side of the interstate, people aren't paying attention, I can put these on the car so it draws more attention to uh, that I'm on the side of the road than me. Um, something else, uh, this is a rechargeable high power flashlight. This goes, this goes in the back of my car. This is a, a, a really good uh, uh, rechargeable light. You can't see because we're in the daylight here, but it's very, very bright, has multiple uses. It's got a red light, got some flashing lights in it. So multiple uses on this light. Good light to have inside just in case you get stuck at nighttime. It's rechargeable, so I also have an extra battery. Um, here, I won't take them out, but uh, these are the reflective triangles you use. So if you do break down somewhere again at nighttime, you don't have chem lights or you run out or you wanna use something that's a little bit better, they'll provide uh, traffic with, uh, uh, with some sort of indication or warning that you're broken down. Uh, just in case, uh, look, maybe the tire's low. Maybe there's a, a nail in it, but the nail's stuck. And so I come out and I notice the tire's low or it's flat. And, uh, and the nail's not gonna come out at least till I get home or get to a, some sort of a gas station or someplace to get assistance. I've got, uh, I've got this portable little pump here, hooks to your cigarette lighter, and within a couple minutes you can pump that tire back up again. I also have, just in case, because uh, when we start talking about the fence, if I go to the car, somebody, I left the lights on, the battery's bad, the battery's run out, needs to be jumped. If there's no one else around, I don't know them. Or if I just don't trust them, then I can get this uh, this portable uh, Boost Plus. Uh, this one's not cheap. Uh, I think these run about 90 to 100 bucks, but I've actually had to use this before in an emergency, and it's in a matter of minutes or less, you can have your car back running again. You don't have to depend on anybody. You don't need those, uh, you know, those long uh, jumper cables. You don't have to worry about that. You just do it all on your, on your own. And then, of course, if something really bad happens, and I do have to defend myself in the car, after the fight, then I've got this medical kit. Maybe I need to provide medical care to the suspect or the adversary. Maybe, maybe I need to provide self-care for there's been somebody in the car that I care about, they've been injured. Uh, I've got stuff to uh, start the breathing back or at least keep them breathing. I've got my bloody control kit, tourniquets. I've got Israeli bandages, got quick clot in here. I've got a basic first aid kit that fits in that's got all the basic first aid stuff. I've got my H bandage. And so the H bandage basically is a comprehensive combat dressing to help stop the bleeding. And then I've got, uh, I've always got extra chem lights. All right. And then of course, I've got some gloves for emergency. If I've got to change the tire, pump the tire up, um, put out emergency equipment. And then of course, I've got my gloves for when I have to provide medical assistance to myself or somebody else. That's the basics in your emergency kit. Keep it in the back of your car at all times. 
most of the stuff can stay in there long term. Check the light every now and then. Uh, you know, check the dates on the chem lights. But most of the stuff is just kind of, it just kind of, you just kind of deal with yourself. You don't have to go back and check it uh, uh, unless it's been several months down the road. Hey, if you have any questions about what goes in the emergency kit when we start talking about vehicle defense, you can email us at scottm, S-O-T-T-M, at michaelmansecurityservices.com. You can send us a message on Facebook at Safe With Man, or you can uh, visit us on Instagram, send us a message. And don't forget to visit us at our YouTube page. All of our videos are on the YouTube page, including the defensive videos that we put out today while we were teaching uh, the vehicle defense class. Right? And remember, folks, it's about prevention, not response.